everyone, welcome to the Puzzle of Healing challenge. Let me tell you what I have in mind. Maybe challenge isn't the right word and if you have a better one, please make suggestions. So, as you all know, I recovered from the chronic illnesses I suffered from back in 2018. Now, about a year ago, I suddenly started having severest PMS issues. From the start of my ovulation all the way to the end of my period, I had exhaustion again, I had brain fog, I had emotional chaos up and down, I had insane food cravings. Um, it was crazy. To the point that I felt like I'm not able to do my work the way I need to do it and I want to do it throughout the month because I only had the time between the end of my period and the ovulation where I was fully fine again. So I went to the doctors and the GP solution was the pill. Back then I thought, okay, it's not a thing I like. I like to fix my problems rather than covering them up. So in that moment I decided to take it because I was starting to do a lot of stage combat and I just really didn't feel like having to fix my body yet again at that moment. But I knew there will be the day where I'm gonna stop this pill and where I'm gonna face what's going on, try to figure it out and try to actually resolve it without the pill. And that time has come now. About a month ago I suddenly felt like, okay, I'm now not gonna continue the pill, I'm just gonna see what happens and then try to find a solution for it. It's not been a fun month. <laughs> I had loads of headaches, I had mood swings, I have days of brain fog and exhaustion. I have days where I'm fine, which is fantastic, and there are clear distinctions between what I had previously with a chronic fatigue, which was very much linked to things like I exercise and then I'm exhausted after it knocks me out. Now with the hormonal chaos it is different. If I go running when I'm exhausted I'm actually going to feel better. Um, not for as long as I'd like, but physical exercise this time actually does help, which is a strong indication for it is definitely hormones. So what I have in mind, <laughs> since I'm now back on a path of having to try and fix things, <laughs> I thought I am sharing the tools of how I go about it, inviting you to join me on your own personal journeys. So I know that the tools I might now need are not useful for you but I will share how I'm finding those tools and encourage you to, to search the tools you might be needing. And feel free to share it in the comment. May let's make this a community experience <laughs> and let's help each other to get through whatever we have to get through in the most positive way and hopefully we find useful outcomes for everyone. I want to say something about that which is applicable to chronic fatigue. When I did my master's degree in psychology, which some of you might know was a fluke I had uh, during COVID because I'm actually an actress and a voice artist and a writer, but I thought, oh God, what am I doing if all my work disappears? And so I decided to do a master's degree in psychology. Why not? Now I have a master's degree in psychology I don't know what to do with really. But what I did was I looked at the couple dynamics in the recovery phase of chronic fatigue syndrome because I wanted to know so I talked to recovered patients and their partners because I wanted to know what was the partner's role. How much did they support the patients? Was it productive? Was it counterproductive? And one thing I found throughout the board, it was a qualitative study. So I talked to 10 different people, so five couples. And the thing I found is that all patients at some point really took their own fate in their hands. It wasn't always there from the beginning. A lot of them suffered for years also with mental health challenges because of the illness. But eventually each and single one reached the point where they said, and I'm going to fix this now. And I found that this was a very, very important key aspect. And what the partners did, they supported the patients in a way that they just gave them the space to make it possible, which is of course a dream and luxury scenario to be in that you suddenly have someone who does all the cooking, the washing, the chores, and even some of them helped financially where that was needed. So that is something I found which I wanted to share because I think this taking ownership of what's happening with you and your body is a key aspect of healing. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's all it takes to recover from something, definitely not. Unfortunately, I wish it would be that easy, but um, I wanted to share this as a little hopefully motivation to know that you know your body best and you can find the things you need to manage and hopefully also recover from whatever you're going through. So yeah, this is the introduction 
to my little challenge. In the next few days, I will just make little videos here and there of how I'm managing my life right now. And um, as I said, encourage you to share and to search your own path. Share what you found so far if you want to. Try new things and just see where this is going. <laughs>